Hi everyone, uh, this isn't a normal sort of thing that I do on the Uphill channel but I've decided to um, start putting relevant mum stuff on here and even though this is beauty as well and keep my sort of fashion and beauty stuff over on a model recommend. So today we have beauty products for new mums or just mums in general or dads, whoever, basically people who are knackered and short on time uh, and all of this stuff is also suitable for women who are pregnant and it's definitely suitable for breastfeeding women as well. Um, so let's get cracking, shall we? I have baby on the floor next to me. He seems a lot happier wriggling around on the carpet than he does being held. So let's see how long that will last. Now, if you want to know what I've actually been using recently, my um, skincare routine, then it's over on Amod Recommends. This is a more general overview of brilliant beauty products that are great for if, um, as I said, you're short on time or you're pregnant or breastfeeding and you're worried about ingredients. So starting off with three brilliant cleansers, all of them in tubes, because I just think, I don't know what it is about when things are in pots and bottles with lids and things like that. I mean, it's fine, but when I'm cleansing, especially if it's in the shower, uh, then I just want something with a flip lid and all of these have got that, and it doesn't matter if they drop on the floor, they don't smash, uh, they just sort of skid around a bit. So we've got three here for different scenarios. Now the first one, I used this in early pregnancy when my skin was just a little bit temperamental and I kept getting little breakouts, and it's the Deep Cleanser with Red Clay from um, Fab, First Aid Beauty. Not very expensive at all, I just found that it was very deep cleansing, but it wasn't one of those drying clay ones just left my skin feeling really nice and deep cleansed, not tight or anything like that. So brilliant one if you're suffering with sort of cloggy skin, I suppose is the best way to describe that. And then the second one I want to show you is from Veleda, this is the Almond Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. You can tissue this one off if you want, you don't have to rinse it. Uh, so it's very handy if you start cleansing and then suddenly you're just short of time. You can just whip it back off again. Really, really good for sensitive skin. And then this one's a favourite of mine. More because the smell of it is so relaxing and so calming, I find that it's a little bit of a very quick spa treatment and cleanser in one. So this is the Rejuvenating Frankincense Refining Cleanser. This is from Neil's Yard Remedies. So again, really nice ingredients. It works brilliantly on my skin and it's really thoroughly cleansing. It has cocoa butter in this one though, so uh, if you don't rinse it, it works better if you remove it with a flannel because otherwise it's quite rich, it's quite heavy. If I don't have time for the full cleanser, rinse off cleanser experience, then micellar water. Um, this one's brilliant and just inexpensive, you get a massive bottle, uh, it's the L'Oreal one. I do find that these micellar waters remove eye makeup as well, as long as it's not waterproof, really sort of heavy duty mascara, then it works well. Now the next thing that I'd go in with would be a serum. I have two to show you. These are just really lightweight but very concentrated beauty products that really get the ingredients into your skin um, without sort of adding an extra cumbersome layer. So they're really quick to apply, they just absorb straight away, mostly. Uh, this one is the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum from First Aid Beauty. First Aid Beauty again, because they just do really brilliant products and they're very affordable. Um, and this one stands up to loads of the high-end ones that I've tried. And it's a brilliant way if your skin feels very dehydrated. It's a great way of getting the hydration back into your skin, again, without using a really rich or greasy moisturiser. So if your skin is on the oily side but also feels tight and dehydrated, then a hydrating serum is the way to go. So that goes on before your moisturiser. If, however, you're worried about sun exposure and dark spots, uh, especially during pregnancy, with all of the hormonal changes and the fact that you can get these um, dark patches of pigmentation, then vitamin C is a good one to add into your routine. So this is the Alpha H vitamin C serum very very watery and lightweight so it just goes straight in and just helps it's a bit of an extra barrier if you like against things that happen in the environment that could have an adverse effect on your skin like pollution and cigarette smoke and sun it's not an spf in itself but it does help the skin to protect itself and obviously do use a good quality spf as well now if your skin is looking very dull and you're just looking generally tired and knackered, then an acid 
toner or an acid peel is a really good thing to give a try. I had to step away from them, especially sort of glycolic ones um, during pregnancy because my skin is just a little bit too sensitive for them and they give me really bad red patches around my nose and on my chin. However, I found a really gentle one, just started testing this, so I've only done sort of a week or so, but I've had no bad reactions to this, no redness, and it has brought back quite a lot of life to the skin. And I think this is quite new, it's the Vichy Idelia Peeling. And it's a big glass bottle of liquid looking, you just shake that out onto a cotton wool pad, swipe it over the skin. Yeah, use it at night. Last thing, I mean I've used it a couple of times and not followed it with moisturiser at all, just to see how it was, um, and it worked really well. So, use it how you feel fit I suppose, but it's a great one for really brightening up the skin. Couple of moisturisers if you're very, very dry. Uh, these are quite rich. So not particularly suitable if you're oily, but I'm gonna to come to that. Uh, this is more if your skin is so parched that you just feel like nothing is touching it. So you want something really rich and buttery and nourishing. First one, very inexpensive. This is the Bioderma Hydra Bio Cream and it's the rich moisturizing care. And it's very sort of buttery and gorgeous and makes the skin feel very plump. The other one is expensive and it's a little bit of a treat. Um, and again, a bit like the frankincense cleanser, it's, it has that spa quality that just gives you that bit of time out because of the, the gorgeous scent. So it's a bit of a two-in-one. This is the Darfan, it's the nectar, um, eight flower nectar oil cream. It's a really stiff textured cream. I just love it. It takes ages to massage in. Not ages, but you know, it's enough that it makes you pause and just have a bit of time for yourself. So love that one, but yeah, expensive. And then if you want something that's very powerful on the hydration front, but you have quite oily or combination skin or acne prone skin, and you don't want to weigh your skin down with something very greasy, then the Tolerian fluid from La Roche-Posay is great. I think this might have new packaging now, I'll double check, um, but I'll put the link to the right one online anyway, so you can have a look at this. Inexpensive, works really well, uh, very gentle and fine on sensitive skin as well. And talking of sensitive skin, two really good moisturisers for calming down redness and irritation and just sort of resetting your skin and getting it back to basics. The first one I've talked about lots over the years, it's the MV Organic Skin Care and this is the Rose Soothing Protective Moisturiser. Lasts me ages and ages. Very soothing, uh, amazing on sensitive skin but also really good um, surprisingly, because you wouldn't think of putting this on, but if you've got very imbalanced hormonal skin, maybe breakouts, um, and that's the type of skin you tend to have during pregnancy and also breastfeeding as well. So this is a bit of a, a beauty staple for me, this one. The other one is, uh, again from Darfan actually, this is the Intra Cream, and I think this it might be their best-selling product ever. I could have just completely made that up. I don't know where I've got that information from, but it's somewhere in my head. I'll double check and I'll take this out if that's not true. Uh, this is really, really popular and uh, it's just great for taking down redness and just resetting the skin, like I said at the beginning of this little section. Now, talking about temperamental and blemished skin, a few products here to show you that are safe if you're pregnant or breastfeeding um, because lots of people ask me about salicylic acid and retinol, both sort of powerhouse ingredients. Um, when it comes to, well, salicylic for tackling blackheads and breakouts, and then retinol is just an incredibly effective anti-aging ingredient. But you shouldn't use retinol when you're pregnant. Not sure about breastfeeding, the jury's still out on that one. And salicylic, a lot of people say to avoid that when you're pregnant. It's sort of up to you. I mean, you have to make your own decision. I think that the levels of the ingredient that they include in products that you can just go and buy in the shops are going to be so low that they wouldn't really pose a risk. But, you know, who wants to risk it when it's your baby? So, some products that don't have them in for you to cut a long story short. Oh dear, do you want to come up here? So, the first one is the anti-ager and this, this is very pricey, but you only need a couple of drops and a little goes a really long way. This is the Moonlight Catalyst from, I don't know how to pronounce this, Kypris. I think it might be. It's really effective. I found it brilliant when my skin also was sort of looking really dry and dull, but also had spots. And this just sorted it out overnight. It was really, really good. 
So I'm very impressed with that. So if you're pregnant and you're thinking, oh, you know, you're missing your retinol products or your really high powered anti-aging products, then give that one a go because it's very, very good indeed. And then two little things for blemish prone skin that don't have salicylic in. The first one is from Pi Skincare. Incidentally, Pi are also really good if you've got sensitive skin, eczema, anything like that, any allergies, because they list all of their ingredients on their website uh, and you can see exactly what's in it. This is the Perfect Balance Blemish Serum. I've used this on breakouts, worked really, really well. If you've got breakouts or oily skin, but you don't like things that leave your skin feeling really stripped and tight, this one is packed full of hydrating ingredient and it does leave your skin feeling really smooth and soft and hydrated, so bonus on that. Oh, sorry about that. I can hardly concentrate, I've got baby spit on my shoulder now. Frida, yes, if you're looking for a pregnancy safe spot gel, then this one is really good and very, very cheap. Recommended to me by Dr. Sam Bunting, who's a great dermatologist on Harley Street and this is the one that she recommends for use during pregnancy, or one of the things that she recommends. Nearly there, you'd have thought that I would have included some eye creams, but I haven't, I've completely forgotten to put any eye creams in. Um, but you know what, I'll put a link to my website and the eye cream section and then you can trawl through all of the ones I've tested and that I've reviewed. Something that is great for tired eyes is this, Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion from Liz Earl. Also good if you've got hay fever, dry eyes, or you're hungover. Um, it's just very soothing, very refreshing. If you've got minimal eye makeup on, you can use it to sweep over your eyes as well, although it won't take off um, mascara. It doesn't have anything in it to really break down the makeup. But it's very good for calming and revitalizing the eye area, and you can squeeze it onto cotton pads and press them over the eyes as well if you've had about two hours sleep, which is most mornings, isn't it? So there we go, some great beauty products for new mums or mums or dads or tired people or generally just people who are short on time. Hope that you found that useful and I shall see you next time.